Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get iOS 4.3 GM on your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch, 3rd and 4th generation, as well as your iPad. So today I'm going to be demonstrating this on my iPad, and a word of caution for everybody who has an iPhone. This will permanently update your baseband, so if you've been preserving it with something like Ponage Tool or Snow Breeze, it will permanently update it, and you have to have a lower baseband in order to actually unlock your iPhone. So that's just a word of advice there. It will permanently Permanently update it and you will not be able to get an unlock until a new unlock is released and as many of you know it takes quite some time for new unlocks to be released so I just want to let you guys know that and obviously this does get rid of your jailbreak because we are doing a restore inside of iTunes so I have my iPad right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and go inside of the settings app and show you guys right off the bat that I am on 4.3 now I'm gonna be restoring again to 4.3 so I'm gonna go over the details on how to do that but I'm just going down right here and as you can see it says 4.3 version and it is 4.3 so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it really quick what you're gonna do first of all is set your iDevice into DFU mode now I'm gonna go ahead and set my camcorder down and I'm going to try and get it so you guys can see this I'm holding down the home and power button and you want to hold them down together for a total of 10 seconds and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly around 20 seconds now uh, this is the best way to do it because it does avoid errors and what we're doing is we're putting it into DFU mode as you can see over here it says that iTunes has detected an iPad in recovery mode and you must restore with iTunes before you can use it. Now uh, this actually is DFU mode, it's not recovery mode, however this is what we want to be in. Your screen just stays black, just letting you guys know in case you think something's supposed to pop up, it's just black. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down shift and click on restore if you are on a PC and you're going to hold down, uh, I believe it is alt and then click on restore if you are on a Mac so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold down shift like so and I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and click on restore and then it brings up this menu and I can select the firmware that I want to use so I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to just go ahead and type in iPad and uh, as you can see right there one of the choices is iPad 4.3 so I'm gonna be using that one it is the one that is uh, right there iPad 4.3 so I'm gonna use that one and I'm just gonna hit open and then I'm going to hit restore and it asks me if I want to restore to iOS 4.3 so we're just gonna go ahead and hit restore now just letting you guys know you only have access to 4.3 GM if you are an Apple developer and you guys can go to their website and you can download it again if you're an Apple developer however if you're not an Apple developer there are third-party websites where you can get the actual download for iOS 4.3 GM and you can restore to it in DFU mode which is what I'm actually doing right now because again I'm not an Apple developer so I will have written instructions and download links down below in the more info just be sure to click on that link and it will take you to another page that isn't on YouTube with the download link and also all of the written instructions to do what I'm doing right now so as you can see right here I have a bar nothing has happened yet but in iTunes it says it is uh, preparing my iPad for a software restore so we're just waiting on that now I'm not actually going to edit anything out really I'm just going to continue to let it go and uh, I'm just gonna prove to you guys that it does work like this so also if you guys haven't checked out my website yet be sure to do so and again the link down below in the more info will take you to a page on my website that has download information as well as written instructions for this also be sure to check out my second channel it is youtube.com forward slash I see your iPhone I'll have a link to that in the more info as well and basically I make daily videos there too just vlogs and also different information that I don't cover on my main channel and also of course you can follow my Twitter for more updates twitter.com forward slash I crack your iDevice and that will be in the more info as well 
So I'm actually also going to be giving this iPad away. So if you want a chance to win it, be sure to check out the video down below in the more info. And that has all the information you need to actually enter to win this iPad right here. So I'm just going to go over here and it says it is verifying iPad software. And here the progress bar is about 75% uh, of the way done. So I'm just going to continue and let the camera roll and uh, wait for it to finish up here. So it's verifying the iPad restore right now still and it says it's restoring iPad firmware and it is almost at the end, it's like 95% of the way done right now. And now the progress bar for restoring iPad firmware is almost done. And there we go. It has turned off and it says that your iPad has now been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. And there we go. So my iPad is turning on right now and I'm going to show you guys what will happen. Now, I'm also going to mention something that uh, does happen quite frequently. I don't know if it's actually going to happen in this restore, but I'll tell you guys if it doesn't happen. So, uh, it is just verifying it right now, and it is continuing to boot up. Okay, so now we are at this, uh, basically, iTunes logo right here with the USB plugged into it, and this means that it has to activate it inside of iTunes. So, here's what it's going to do. It's just going to activate it, and I have the option to set up my iPad now. Uh, last time what it did was it actually gave me some sort of error, and I was still on that screen. What you're going to do is you're going to unplug it, and you're going to plug it back in, and leave iTunes open, and just hit out of the air, and that should fix it, and that should activate your iPad. And I do not have a developer's account, and here we go. I have my iPad, and it is on 4.3. Again, I'm going to go inside of the Settings app, and I'm going to go to General About, and show you guys that I am on 4.3. So I'm going down here to Version, and 4.3. So there you go. I'm also going to show you guys something that also is only found in 4.3 on the iPad right there where it says use side switch to now in 4.2.1 it uses the side switch to mute it however I'm going to change it to lock rotation which was uh, back in the older firmwares for the iPad and I'm going to actually use this side switch right here and I'm going to show you guys that now it locks the orientation so there we go there is proof that I am on iOS 4.3 on my iPad. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what you think down below in the more info. Be sure to rate this video up and also subscribe to this channel and my second channel if you aren't already. This is ICU signing out.